Hey everyone, welcome to Critical Thinking About Society or SOCH 3S. Uh, this is Dr. Nkosi and I created this short video to help you uh, get situated with our online Blackboard course. So to access our Blackboard class, you're going to log into Blackboard. Uh, and here you see I'm logged in up here. And then you're going to go to My Courses and you're going to find our class, which is SOCH 3S, and click right there. And when you land inside of our class Blackboard, you're going to see over here, there's some tabs to navigate around our Blackboard site. And by default, you're gonna land in the Start Here tab. And so that is set up that way because I really do want you to start right here. What I provided under this tab is some basic information to help you get an idea of what Sociology 3 is, um, as well as like the basic format for this class. Uh, one very important thing to note about the basic format is that every Friday um, by 12 p.m. noon, I'm going to open up a new module and I'll show you where the modules are located in just one second, but I'll open them up on Friday by noon and then the modules need to be completed by the following Thursday by 11.59 p.m. So essentially you have pretty much one week to complete the module. In each one of the modules, here's a list right here uh, showing what to expect in each one. Uh, you'll have your readings, some short videos, uh, the weekly quiz, as well as um, any online activities and things like that. Every week you will also uh, complete one weekly reading journal and there's some detailed instructions on what exactly that is. And then in addition to the weekly material and assignments, uh, there's a couple of other course requirements, including one five-page service learning essay, a two-page film reflection paper, and then a two-page celebration paper. And then this class is also a service learning class, which means that you will have the opportunity to apply what you're learning every week to uh, some opportunities to engage with the community, and I'll provide more information about that. The very first module is open and it's available under the weekly modules tab. I'll show you that in just a second. And this is a very short module called Getting Started. And I would like that to be completed by this Thursday, um, August 25th by 11.59. So this next um, diagram here under the Getting Started, <clears throat> this right here is intended to provide you with one snapshot overview, like an image of what the whole class entails for the whole semester. So here you see again the weekly modules and what's in each one of those. There's a service learning component and what are the basic assignments or um, activities that happen under service learning. Here's a breakdown of the papers and then in this class there is one final exam. Uh, this next section, it outlines uh, the best way to communicate with me as well as with each other. So read over that. Um, you might note here that there is some extra credit opportunities. I did set up a, a Facebook group page and I'll click over to that right now. Here's our Facebook page. Um, and I set it up on Facebook because in the past students have given me feedback, letting me know that through Blackboard, um, the collaboration tools that they have there are not very engaging. And so I thought, well, what, let's try Facebook and see if um, we can use this tool. Maybe it's a little bit more engaging. Uh, so what will happen is you just go to log into Facebook and then do a search for sociological imagination with Dr. Nkosi. And then after you do that, you're going to see a green uh, icon that says click here to join or something like that and then once you click that I'll approve it and then I'll just go ahead since we're already in here and show you my intro post so here's my introduction post and everybody is going to post uh, one um, message like this and then also provide a picture this is a picture of my awesome family this is my son Asante my daughter Jennifer and my wonderful husband Shahid 
So going back to the Blackboard site, uh, that's how we'll communicate with one another, also through email and things like that. But read over this so you know the best way to communicate. Uh, this is a little uh, information about service learning, but there is a whole tab dedicated to um, providing more information as well as some, um, a page dedicated in our syllabus that provides more service learning. One thing that I do want to note is that Fresno State is a lead institution in the CSUs for our commitment to applying the learning that students are engaged in within the university to addressing social issues or engaging in civic participation. And so here you see that Fresno State um, hit uh, 10,000, I mean, excuse me, 10 million hours of community service in 10 years. And so here's an article and you can read more about that as well as a short video that you can watch. And then the final thing under the getting started tab is this um, overview of the sociological imagination. The sociological imagination is essentially uh, our goal for this semester. It is a way of looking at the world, a way of understanding the world and your place within society from a much deeper and insightful perspective. And you might notice here that there is a caution, and that is because uh, the sociological imagination or perspective will challenge, as uh, Peter Berger says, the world taken for granted. And so what that means is, you know, you and I, we are going about our day to day lives and because we are situated in the United States or in Fresno or in our particular social location, uh, there's a particular way that we don't even see the world. It's taken for granted because we're just like submerged inside of it. And so our job this semester over the course of the whole semester is to unpack or um, to kind of reveal the various layers of society that you know that we at this point um, may not be able to fully see and so we will begin that work but obviously the development of the sociological imagination is something that you know takes a lot of time a lot of years i'm still developing my sociological imagination as well uh, the more we read, the more we um, engage in critical thinking, the more we're able to develop this perspective. And so um, please read over this. And then it says here, you know, if you are up for the challenge, um, welcome to an exciting and at times discomforting journey in acquiring and developing your sociological imagination. So read over everything under the Getting Started tab. Uh, this is just provided to just really help you get some a solid foundation for what to expect in this class. Uh, then over here on the side, we also have some other tabs. So under the announcements, there are currently no announcements. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm actually going to post an announcement and make Blackboard available. Um, under the faculty information tab here, you can find information uh, about me, a little bit on my background. Um, and some other information about how to get a hold of me, my email, and so forth. And then under the syllabus tab, you can click there. And here you can click and you can access our course syllabus. And here I put, read it thoroughly and refer back to it often. So here is our course syllabus. There is quite a bit of information in here. Uh, I tried to make uh, my syllabus um, interesting and engaging with uh, you know, text as well as visuals and um, really important quotes. Here again, the sociological imagination. Up in the corner, contact information, a little uh, welcome message right here, and a description of the class. This is a picture of the two textbooks that we're gonna be using. They are very short and inexpensive, uh, very concise books as well as We'll be watching uh, full length documentaries and some very short videos as well um, and reading articles and accessing um, activities and stuff on the website. So I planned the class to be um, as engaging as possible and to create an opportunity to introduce a lot of different um, materials into the class. 
So I'm not going to go over the whole syllabus right now. Uh, I think what might be helpful is if I go ahead and create a short video that is dedicated to just the syllabus, but I just want to kind of scroll through here and you can see um, here's the information for service learning. Here is kind of a really important snapshots and dates of interest, the grade points breakdown for the entire semester. And then here is a detailed course calendar that provides information about what to read, what to watch, and then over here, what's due every semester. I mean, excuse me, every week. And then here's some information about the final exam. And then this last page is very important. Um, this page is intended to provide you with help and resources so that you can um, be successful in this class. Um, I do want to point out right here, if you are feeling lost or overwhelmed, please, please, please reach out to me. Don't be shy. Um, if you're confused about anything in the class, you know, and you're not feeling 100% comfortable about posting it to our Facebook page, shoot me an email and uh, let's work it out together. And then, you know, for sure, if you're experiencing any challenges at home or with work, um, I really would um, like to encourage you to reach out to me as soon as possible so that we can create um, a plan to help you be successful, not only in this class, but in all your classes and in uh, your time here at Fresno State. So there's information about where to meet with um, counselors, information about the writing center, um, you know, connecting with your classmates. And then this one right here is very important. This right here is about connecting you with resources in the community because you, you know, are living a life outside of Fresno State. And sometimes, or actually in a lot of times, students fall on hard times or they're struggling, uh, you know, to pay rent or, you know, access food and things like that. You can call 211. Um, literally 211 and you will talk with someone on the other end of the line that would connect you with really important um, basic needs right here I put right food shelter clothing um, help with your pg e you name it they'll try to get you connected with um, some really important resources so let's head back over to our blackboard site and here is where you will access the weekly modules. You just click right here on this tab. And what I've tried to do is to put every single thing, for the most part, that you need each week inside of the weekly modules folder. So each folder uh, has a little um, brief overview listed here with a checklist of what needs to be completed. So then when you click on the folder, you're redirected inside, and then here's the same module overview that was on the outside, um, but it's a little bit more convenient because it's inside the folder. And then here I have uh, the videos that you're gonna watch. You can see, look, this is only two minutes and 49 seconds. This is a what is sociology, something I found on YouTube that I thought was pretty helpful. It's only five minutes. Um, this is actually a mini, uh, or a, a video that one of my students created in a past um, class to um, that highlighted our uh, service learning that semester. And so that's only nine minutes. And then here's some information about um, your, your Facebook post. So read over that. As you can see, it's just um, you know some really short but important pieces to help you get started. Every single week, this is the checklist, so make sure that you do everything that's listed here, and if you have any questions, post those to our Facebook site. Every week, um, students will um, post a reading journal. This is going to start in week three, and I will create um, a short video on how to post your reading journal, and there's also samples, like here in the assignments tab you can see that there is uh, guidelines and a sample for the weekly reading journals. So I know it's a lot of information all at one time. Your job this week is to go through these tabs, check out the syllabus, and um, write down any questions that you have, and then post those questions of clarification over to our Facebook page, which is, oh, there's the Facebook page, and so that way we can help each other uh, to start the semester off in the best way possible. So 
I'm looking forward to a wonderful semester with all of you.